as the situation regarding the most disastrous Doctor Who season since the show's creation only gets more dramatic in debriefing rather than less, it's becoming more and more okay to acknowledge the fact that the Shutigawa led RTD Helm Doctor woke experiment has only produced negative results. The show was garbage. Poorly structured, contrived rubbish. Every secret and through line of the entire season came to a completely underwhelming finish, and when people think of Shooty Gatwa as the Doctor now, all they can picture is mincing, screaming, and crying. Oh god, oh god, the endless freaking crying. But of course, even though most in the media are now okay with saying that the show is in dire, dire trouble, and is likely to be cancelled after season 2, 15, or 41, few shills are still out there refusing to see the writing on the wall, and choose to cope and seethe instead. You are coping, coping and seething. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seething. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name's Will. See what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're going to go over to Den of Geek. I can't believe I'm saying that. Wretched hive of scum and villainy that it is. To see what they're saying to try and cope with the pathetic fate of Doctor Who that is already on the horizon. So, yeah, if you're liking the video, then like the video. It helps other people to find it in the algorithm. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more news, reviews, commentary, and rebellion, courtesy of me and the Griff Force. Lily's your reactionnaire. All right, your willies and fannies, here we go. Den of Geek, Doctor Who's future in the Disney deal, sorting the fact from the fiction. Well, if you say so, then who am I to ask questions? If you say it's fact, then, well, I mean, it's not like I've never been able to trust a known left-wing publication before, is it now? Don't be ridiculous. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Why are they putting a Dad's Army reference in there? Okay, whatever, Louisa Mella. Let's see what she's got to say. Last week, Deadline published a report into the current health of Doctor Who and its international distribution deal with Disney that left some people spooked. Yes, I've covered it twice now. I actually kind of forgot I did it the first time. Oh, well. The future of the Disney deal hangs in the balance. One anonymous source close to the production was reported as feeling it may not last beyond its initial two seasons. Well, I mean, is anybody really surprised? As usual, storytelling has taken a dive. Sci-fi has gone out the window. No regular monsters were featured in the first series. There was very little science in this science fiction, and it was much more sort of fantasy fairy tale garbage in space. Space! With Shooty Gat were mincing around and calling everybody babes and then crying every time anything went even slightly awry or reeing and spitting at what he perceived to be racism, but which in terms of the actual text was never mentioned at all. It's just and culminating all, of course, in Sutek. Sutek, for crying out loud, it's not very difficult to make Sutek menacing. He was menacing in the pyramids of Mars and he is a joke. At the end of this series, a dog lashed to the TARDIS and flown through the exact time vortex that allowed him to survive for thousands of years now kills him. Why? Dunno. Never explained. Ruby Sunday's mother and the mystery surrounding her has the power to stop Sutek from killing her and the Doctor. Why? Dunno. Especially when she turns out to be nobody of interest. Gloriously bad writing. Glorious. And I say that, of course, because as most of you are probably aware, I am not in the mood for any more of this particular flavor of Doctor Who. And there are thousands of people who agree with me. So there you go. Um, it may not last beyond its initial two seasons. Wonder why? But let's see the cope. That's a reasonable position to take because the deal was initially made only for two seasons and at the time of writing, no deal renew announcement has been made public. The deal's future hangs in the balance in the same way that the future of a packet of Jaffa cakes. What? On a supermarket shelf hangs in the balance because I've yet to buy and eat them. It hasn't happened yet and granted it may not except for the Jaffa cakes in which case it absolutely will. Oh, yeah, so funny. I mean, yeah, Jaffa Cakes are nice. I miss them. In fact, if anybody wants to send me some Jaffa Cakes to the Philippines, get in touch. 
While uh, casting doubt on the future of the Bad Wolf, Disney or BBC partnership, several online responses have repeated an error that was debunked 18 months ago and reported as shadowy fan rumour, something that showrunner Russell T. Davis made public last December. To point out any of this isn't to undermine the conclusions being drawn about Doctor Who's potentially insecure future at Disney, it's just to get the facts straight. And get the facts straight. When misinformation is out there making everything difficult for us because we're supposed to be pumping out the misinformation ourselves. But, oh, but we can't do that because everybody has already heard that the show is terrible and everybody's already seen that the show is terrible and everybody who watched the show knows it's terrible and everybody knows that the show is not deserving of a third series. Especially when you consider the amount of money that was probably put into it and the amount that it actually generates. So, uh, there you go. Anyway, budget. So they're going to criticise the budget. A Disney-driven budget boost that well-connected sources have estimated more than doubled the show's per app investment to around the 10 million pounds or 13 million dollars mark with the deal valued by some around 100 million pounds no it was 100 million dollars we we heard some sources did indeed estimate this and in january 2023 russell t davis and bad wolf executive producer jane tranter went on the record with doctor who magazine to call the estimate inaccurate that was de exaggerated davis told wd uh, dwm and if that was the budget i'd be speaking to you from my base on the moon do you actually believe, Russell, that a hundred million dollars is enough to give a private citizen a base on the fucking moon? Oh, I hate the way he does it. Oh, I'd be talking to you from my base on the moon. No, you wouldn't. That's ridiculous. It's an absurd statement. I wouldn't even get you to the moon. Anyway whatever um the more pertinent thing to criticize here is the obvious fact that russell t davis and jane tranter cannot be trusted they are people i mean if you look at the russell t davis uh, interviews that i have covered in other videos where the guys there going oh yes it's it's so nice uh, there's a childlike quality to the doctor that fits children and then i superimpose that with the image of him twerking to kylie and kissing a man as the orchestra swells, making it the centerpiece of the episode. Yeah, not safe for children. And, uh, I mean, that's, you know, he says things like, oh, the BBC, they had enormous faith in Doctor Who. They've always had faith in Doctor Who. That's why they were going to cancel it if Disney hadn't stepped in. So when Disney stepped in, oh, they gave us a nice budget. Oh, it's, it's very good. The BBC has an enormous faith. Yeah, no, no. The BBC doesn't know how to do Doctor Who anymore because all of the conservative people out there have been fired and they've been replaced by radical, brainwashed, leftist, activist trash bags who are more interested in pride and race than they are in quality of storytelling. Uh, Disney editorial meddling. How far would the Disney's influence extend editorial over Doctor Who has worried some fans since the distribution deal was announced. Walt Disney, would Disney insist on the addition of, say, a comedy robot dog or a blonde teenage girl? Well, I mean, Ruby Sunday is a blonde teenage girl. She's like 19, isn't she? Thereby ruining Doctor Who forever. I mean, it is 20 years since her mother dropped her off, so I suppose she's 20. Yeah. Although, actually, that's never really established, just like anything else. According to Davis, Disney had asked for the Doctor to be introduced earlier. That's why we ended up with that snowman scene, the one that makes reference to a particular gay sex act. Well, it doesn't have to be gay, I guess, but, you know, it's still dirty. Uh, the Deadline's piece's opening gambit, since repeated by other outlets, is that Doctor Who having been almost completely absent from Disney's 2024 upfronts. A lack of fanfare for Doctor Who at the event could suggest a low place among Disney's priorities. Well, it absolutely does have a low place in Disney's priorities. You can see this. You can see this because it never got past position six on a chart for longer than one day. So there you go. Once a week on the Disney charts, Doctor Who would creep up into like sixth or perhaps even fifth once position and then disappear into a black hole for the rest of the week as all the other shows overtook it once again like simpsons like family guy like futurama like bluey like desperate housewives yes i'm not joking these are the top tens on disney plus anyway a lack of fanfare blah 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 uh could suggest a low place among priorities but the pr place can't have been affected by the ratings performance being cited as a reason for the perceived current lack of excitement from Disney. Yes, this is a time travel show, but when the upfronts happened, the ratings data didn't yet exist. Uh, okay, but there was a perception of what the ratings would be. 
it's not a new show okay it's a show that has a certain type of audience and a type of audience that when marketed to will turn out in droves if only Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker hadn't ruined the show prior to this. Disney could have expected to enjoy six figures every week. No problem. Gradually building to seven, maybe even eight figures a week globally as a great sci-fi show like Doctor Who would suddenly appear and people would like to watch it. The big problem though, the show is fucking terrible. And nobody who watched it wants to watch it anymore. This is why you saw the trajectory of the episodes in terms of viewings overnights and also in terms of the onlines and, of course, on Disney. Down, 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 down. Nobody cares. Uh, then they talk about how uh, Russell T. Davis is going to have a intergalactic friendship panel with Alex freaking Kurtzman of Star Trek Discovery. Yes, what they did to that show as well. Michael Burnham. Fuck off. A comparison widely repeated in the last week is that the average audience of the last full series led by Jodie Whittaker was higher than the first led by Gatwa. That's undeniable, but does fail to mention the fairly important context. It's always about context, guys. Oh, whatever. That, uh, what is the context then? That Whittaker series aired in October and November, where British TV viewing figures are higher as a whole than in the sports-dominated summer months of May and June when Gatwa's episodes aired. Cope! I'm sorry, but this is nothing but cope. Okay, right. Let's address uh, this because this is a big pile of cope. Okay, so um, right, Jodie Whittaker gets more uh, than Gatwa, and uh, they're saying that in addition to the fact that no one liked the show, they're also saying that the context is that Whittaker's series aired in October and November. Yes, and steadily declined, while Gatwa's got uh, aired in the summer months of May and June. Okay, yeah, you can say that all you want. What about 73 yards? What about 73 yards? What do you mean? What do I mean? What about 73 yards? Right. Okay, so 73 yards aired directly after, no, sorry, one hour after the FA Cup final, resulting, as per people in my audience, thousands of people in my audience who reported the same thing. Oh, I saw it in the pub. It was on in the pub. Yeah, they left the telly on after the FA Cup. Everyone was celebrating and I saw it in the pub. If anything, the sports-dominated summer months helped Doctor Who. Idiotic. Anyway, uh, this is just going to keep going on and on and on and on and on. Talking about various rubbish and how the show can continue, even if Disney does back out. And they're talking about how Anita Dobson's Mrs. Flood will be the draw going forward there you go though look at that cope it's pathetic well what about this sports man oh well what about the fact that it's a new idea it's not usually in america you just can't deal with the fact that nobody wants to watch they've ruined the show they have killed the show and now they've dug up the courts they are doing a Deadpool and Wolverine intro credit sequence with the corpse of Doctor Who. We know it and we want it to end. This is why we cheer for the show to end. But let me know how you feel about this in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Will of the Fans. If you'd like to see more of me, I'd like to see more of you. And I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans, respect the doctor, respect the law. And I'll chat to you next time.